Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting MisNumD tutorial, we're going to be tackling a question that I've been getting just all the time recently, and that is, how to unrar file slash what is a rar file and when do you use them? First of all, a rar file is great. It is a compressed file format, so if you have a bunch of files you need to deliver to someone, put them in a rar file, then they all go into one place that's easy to upload, and it's even slightly smaller than the original set of files, which is great. It's lossless compression, so it's not that much smaller, but you know, it's enough to make a difference. More than one time I've had a, a file that was like 2.2 gigabytes and then it compressed it down and it was just under two and I could use WeTransfer and it was great. So people have been asking me about these because I use the RAR file format for delivering my Bright Light Slight Leak pack, which is great. MistMedia.com slash products. Fantastic stuff there. So whenever you normally get a RAR file, you'll get it. If you don't have a program to extract it, then you're kind of screwed. But luckily, it's pretty easy to get unscrewed because there are free programs like 7-Zip, which will take care of it for you. 7-Zip is great. I use a program called WinRAR just because I got it a long, long, long time ago and I didn't know about 7-Zip. But 7-Zip is free and it's great. You just download it to the desktop. There you go. I'm pretty sure 7-Zip is just for Windows and, you know, stuff. But Mac has unrar options, just, you know, Google open RAR file on Mac. You can find something, the unarchiver, on RAR X, whatever you want. It's pretty easy. So we've got 7-Zip. It's going to go ahead and install that bad boy real quick. I don't want to restart. You probably should, but, you know, a lot of people sort of think of me as a computer bad boy. So we've got that. And now we can just go ahead and select our files, right click, go to 7-Zip, extract here. And now it will take a while to extract just because that's the nature of the beast, but that's fine. I luckily have already extracted these. So now once you get these, they're just all in sorts of folders and these are just regular old .mov files. So you can bring them into Premiere. Let me just get a random project up. And here you can just drag the files in. Super easy. So this is a short one. Let's go and do an overlay. So... The new overlays. We'll do loud, ProRes, Nikki Ships. Nice. You get this in your project. You know, it's a light leak. You set it to screen. Look at this. Look at this. Now you can really see it. Excellent. So, as you can see, using raw files, super easy. Um, taking a look at why people use these to upload files with. Taking a look at our original ProRes file here, it's 27.1 gigabytes. Compressed version, 26.4 gigabytes. Look at that. So you save, you know, almost a gigabyte of download, which is pretty nice. So anyway, if you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. Be sure to share this video with your friends because apparently lots of people need to know how to unraw files, which is great. Also, they should be downloading the Bright Light Sight Leak pack. Also, House Lutz. And if you're really sneaky, I haven't really talked about it much yet, but go look on mixedmedia.com slash products and there may be something new up there that may have a lot of tutorials coming out about it and other promotional material. Anyway, once again, I've been Theo with Mixed New Media. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.